This is the eBay Airband Receiver Kit. I purchased the one without the enclosure. This one also has printed coils on the circuit board instead of wound coils out of wire. The circuit board has a silk screen and tinned holes. It looks to be of decently high quality. Also coming with the kit are resistors. They are all carbon film 5% resistors. The capacitors are ceramic and electrolytic. Over here we have the ceramic resonator. Two transistors and a voltage regulator three diodes and a very cap diode. Now these two diodes here are not the right type. The manual says that they should be AS119 but the actual part number should be AA119. I got a 1N4148 and another one with a part number that doesn't show up in any sort of search. This is a tunable inductor And these are two ferrite beads that are used to filter out the power lines. These are the three potentiometers that control AGC, volume, and tuning. I have the headphone jack here. The RF port is a BNC jack. It doesn't come with any sort of nut to uh, secure the outside. Right here is the power port and a tuned transformer. There are five DIP 8 ICs. One is an LM386 audio power IC. There are two LM358 op amp chips a MC1350 IF amplifier and a NE602 mixer. It also came with five dip sockets. Um, in standard kit building form, you solder in the dip sockets, do not install the ICs, and measure the voltages with the power applied. This is to make sure that all the power goes to the right pins before you install the ICs so you don't damage them. I'll be building this kit step by step and making further videos to show <coughs> how the different sections work.